Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to build a full Flutter app um, without without coding. We're going to be using Cursor for the logic, and for the UI, we are going to be using Prompt to Flutter. So we are going to build a grocery list app where there's different grocery um, list cards and then when you click on one of the cards the actual list actually shows and then you can check the items that were already bought so that you can um, follow up what you've bought and what you still need to buy from that list so let's start with um, organizing our project so first of all i created this flutter project so we'll um, have a screens folder screens and we'll have a services folder so first of all um we're going to create the home screen which consists of a title and a list of cards each card is a grocery list so in order to do that we are going to use prompt to flutter so we are going to prompt to flutter dot online and then we'll create a new chat and then in describe the flutter ui um we'll see um so create a grow grocery a grocery app home screen a list of cards each card represents a grocery list when I click on the card the actual list appears with options to add, delete, and check bought items. And for the home screen, I need to be able to create grocery delete them okay so we're, we're going to do dark theme for this project so and we'll use rounded corners so let's click generate and see what happens so the reasoning model is now analyzing the prompt and coming up with a with a ui this might take a moment okay there we go if we want to preview the ui in the browser we can use the preview button from here so this gives us a glimpse of what the UI will look like and okay so there you go and we can do we can go full screen let's go full screen okay again so here we're, we're using the, the browser so there's a grocery list in there there's an ad that creates a grocery list when I click on it I can add items um, let's see milk and the item goes there I can mark that item as bought okay so this seems to be a good starting point so let's copy the code and then we'll go back to our project I'm gonna delete this code and we'll copy the new code okay so we have to change um, 
up. Okay, go. I just restarted the app. I did not modify anything. So as you can see, this is the home screen for the grocery um, app. So now it's just a UI. So we can create new lists and then um, we can click on the list itself. We can add items um, just like just um, okay. How do we change the language? Okay, so milk. Oh no, milk, and it adds the items there. So if I go back, the item stays there, but it does not persist. Um, we need to use shared preferences to store the the items in the lists in uh, in the actual phone memory. So in your, in order to do that, we, we're going to be using cursor. Um, so we'll go ahead and type in add a way to store the grocery uh, cards on the home page as well as uh, grocery lists assigned to those cards using shared preferences. Okay, so shared preferences is a package um, that interacts with the phone memory. So actually the lists are going to be stored in the phone memory. So, okay, let's, let's click on send. So cursor is now going to take care of the project. So cursor added shared preferences library and it now is modifying the, the main dot dart. So the thing is that the prompt of letter implemented all the, the screens in one file. So, I mean, we might need to uh, split those into two separate files. So yeah, let's um, let's let's run web.get and then we'll accept all and then we'll save the project. So now there's an error in the main the door. Let's see. Okay. Um, so we need to uh, okay. One second. We need to import the shared preferences. Okay. Let's fix this import. This import now is fixed. Let's restart the app. Okay, so let's add a new grocery list. And now we'll click on that grocery list and add items. So let's say milk, added milk, bananas. Okay, so now um, let's see. So the grocery list contains the milk and the bananas. And now if we go ahead and restart the app. Okay, so this did not persist. Um, let's go ahead and um, ask. So let, let's see why this did not persist. Um, Plus, to add a grocery list, I need the list to persist when I restart the app. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Okay. So again, I'm not doing any coding here, so I'm going to try to make this all work with only cursor and fl prompt to flutter. So, okay, let's restart the, the app. Okay. Okay, so we need to, to actually um, stop the app and then restarting it again um, so that the, the, the library works. It's building.
Okay, so in the meantime, let's go and take that. Oh, okay, it's done building. Um, so let's see if it works. Okay, let's add a grocery list. And then go to that grocery list and add, let's see, milk. Okay, go back. Let's restart the app. Okay, good. So now the grocery list persists. When I restart the app, I can see that this grocery list exists. I can add as many items as I want in here. And then get again, the grocery list is there. I restart the app and it's still there. Okay, so this is, um, <clears throat> this is working. So what we'll do now is we are going to add um, okay a way to mark those items as bought so there's the check box we already have that so let's see if this persists so let's restart the app go and it persists so now it's working so it's been we we just built a fully functional flutter app um, in less than 10 minutes using cursor for the logic and using prompt to flutter for the UI um, we're going to be doing more of these videos we're going to be building more complicated apps using cursor and prompt to flutter in the future so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you again soon bye bye